Hey everyone, hey, hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day just sitting here in my vehicle. Uh, probably not a good, um, probably not a good example having so much uh, junk in the back of my car, but we are uh, part of strong fencing in uh, New Zealand and I'm really wanting to start inputting and reaching out to people uh, around the world just talking about what it means to to run a construction company but also you know what it means to run a fencing company and uh, we, you know we're a husband and wife team and we uh, have an accounts uh, person that works with us and we have a team of guys that work with us and we're working in a small-ish city with uh, you know around about 20,000 people so it's not a massive population base but we've managed to Established a business here, but I wanted to really just encourage people out there who are thinking about uh, starting a business. It can be super rewarding. Um, why do I run a business as opposed to working for somebody else? Is a probably a good question that I get asked uh, quite a lot. In fact, no one's ever asked me that, but I'm believing that you're going to ask me that. Uh, <laughs> why? Why? Why do you want to run a business? Well, first of all, uh, the potential for income is a lot higher. Uh, then if you're working with someone, obviously if you're working uh, on a salary, you're going to be capped to an hourly rate where when you run a company, you get paid uh, by the job. So whether I'm getting paid $30 an hour or not, or $40 an hour or $60 an hour, uh, I actually get paid to complete the job uh, in a faster, more efficient time. So it means that I get paid by the job instead of uh, by the hour. So that's the first one. So it really incentivizes you to go quicker and faster. So the faster you are, the more uh, income you make, the more efficient you are. You know, that's why I was going on about the junk in the back of my car here. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, but, you know, if you've got a messy vehicle, uh, that's going to cost you time. If you're running out of tools, that's going to cost you time. If, you, if you're turning up late to things because you've got a flat tire and you haven't looked after your vehicle, and that's going to cost you time. So it's all about time. Time is money, uh, literally. Uh, and so the faster you go. And so probably the two things that we really focus on is speed and accuracy when it comes to um, installing a job. And so speed is about, like what I just mentioned, uh, it's about uh, communications, having great communication um, systems. Uh, it's about uh, tools, having the right tools on the job. It's about materials. And um, it's also about completions, being focused on completing things. And so uh, I'm like a scratch record when it comes to those uh, four things, uh, communications, tools, materials, and completions. And literally, uh, those things, literally, the most overused word in the world is literally. Uh, literally, if you do those things, uh, you will uh, run a profitable uh, construction company or a profitable uh, fencing company. And so... Uh, those things are, are super, super important. Um, other reasons to run a company is uh, if you like working with your partner. I uh, I work with my wife, so we work together. It can be very, very challenging on a relationship if you're working together, but it also means that you're a team, and often uh, husband and wives can be uh, some of the best teams that are available out there. And so it's worked well for us. It might not work uh, well for you, but it's been an awesome uh, experience. And so... How it works is I, uh, I'm i an installer, I do sales and also project management, um, but you know at some point I won't be an installer, I'll just be doing project management and sales, uh, but, um, and then um, what my wife does is she's great at communication, so it's really just working with your strengths, but what she does is she takes care of the uh, back end office side of things, and I'm working out the front, the front, I'm the front of house, so she's like the cook in the kitchen, cooking things up. And uh, yeah, I'm out there. I'm out there. It's probably not a good example. Um, I'm out there in the field, um, just driving around, installing fences, uh, meeting customers. Uh, but but they are the customers are front facing to my wife. In fact, that she answers the 0800 number. So we have a person doing that. Um, so the other advantages, yeah. So I guess working with your partner is pretty awesome. Uh, be be lots of fun for some of you. Um, being able to be, get paid by the job instead of by the hour. Um, but also uh, the sort of time freedom. You know, a lot of people talk about passive income and stuff like that. It doesn't exist, I'm sorry. Feel free to comment if you don't if you think it does exist. It exists for a very small percentage of the population. 
um, those who have reached sort of financial freedom, and that may take years. I think for most of us, it's it, we need to realize that working hard is probably going to be the the route that we need to take. Working hard and working consistently, and and one of the benefits of business is that. Um, if you want to have a holiday, you can book it in and you can just take it. So you, if you've got guys working for you, um, they can um, cover for you. You can organize work because you're in control of your calendar. It's not You don't have to wait till the end of the year to have a holiday. And so I think one of my philosophies is to at least have a one-week holiday every three months or four months just to get uh, recalibrated And because, you know, when you run a business, it's really about uh, getting a headspace and being in a really good headspace to operate the company. Uh, it's no good if you're stressed out, if you're wound up, if you're sort of um, having problems with um, people and customers and employees and things. It's, it can be very draining on you, you know, on your marriage. It's really good to just get away. So I'd say that's one of the, the benefits. Um, and also on the upside uh, is that yeah, the, the, the income earning potential is really up to you. So uh, I'd love to talk more um, in another video about um, how to scale uh, a company. Um, but for most of us, we're going to run a sort of a medium size, small to medium size is probably the best size for um, generating uh, regular income. Uh, building something that's beyond that is, um, well, there's it's a lot more risk involved in it. So, um, so those are some of the upsides of businesses. Um, what are the downsides, uh, you ask? Where do I start? The downsides. Uh, number one is is you are in charge of your own finances. So I'd encourage people early on to get 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 accountants and um, administration people um, involved in the financial side, unless you're really really good at it. Uh, but for most companies, you need to realize. Uh, you, when you start out, uh, everything's great. You've got a great cash flow. You've got you have your margins and profit margins coming in, but um, sort of in about the year three, you need to watch out because that's when your your tax really starts coming on strong. Uh, in our country, uh, they they make you pay provisional tax uh, sort of in your second third year. It's it's kind of you're paying forward your tax, so you end up getting hit with a bit of a a tax surprise. So I guess one of the downsides is, is you can get into debt. You can end up owing money if you're not very careful in in the times when it's uh, plentiful. So you need to have a mindset of stewardship and thinking how we're going to uh, think long term. So uh, that that's that would be why a lot of companies um, fail, as the as they plan they don't plan ahead for when those times are coming. Uh, another downside of business is um, yes, you do have your time management, but in the, if you're not good at managing it, um, the business can actually take over your life. So I, as a business owner, earn a decent income, but I. Uh, I I have the potential to work from 6 o'clock in the morning till 12 o'clock at night. And so if I don't put proper systems in place, I don't delegate, and I don't yeah I don't build those systems, what can happen is I can start to become a workaholic. I can work 60 hours a week. I can work 100 hours a week if I want. There's, there's no limit. So you need to put boundaries on yourself to make sure that you're not um, burning yourself out. Uh, that's definitely one of the things to watch out for uh, with, with work. Um, and I think, obviously, when you run a business, you are, I guess, thirdly, uh, to watch out for one of the downsides is uh, you've got to watch out for liabilities. There are a lot of liabilities, uh, especially the more staff you have, the more vehicles you have. Vehicles breaking down, vehicles getting damaged. Um, in my business, going through power cables, going through internet cables, and all of those, uh, you know, in, in themselves, they're not that bad. You can deal with them. Uh, but you do need to have a risk management um, approach because um, things are going to go wrong. Um, thankfully, I haven't been hit with anything major, but I know a lot of people have, have been wiped out uh, because they didn't have the proper insurances, uh, especially liability, public liability is the big one. But, you know, I've, I've had stuff being damaged and tools and the insurance didn't even cover it, so you end up taking that as a big L, as a loss, so... You can uh, lose money, which if, uh, man, if, if you're working hard, it's one of the hardest things about business is losing uh, finances that you, you don't need to lose because you made a mistake. So a lot there's a lot more stress and responsibility, but 
that's what you're getting paid for. Unless you're a super highly paid um, self-employed person, uh, over, earning over two or three hundred thousand a year. You know, if you're earning half a million a year as a self-employed person, you might want to not look at business. But for most of us that want to sort of earn in that sort of um, you know mid two hundreds or even more, you know, sort of a hundred k all the way up. Uh, you know, small size business is actually a great vehicle. But um, yeah, you do need training. You do need people that can help you along the journey and this is something I'm sort of passionate about is helping people so I hope this video has helped you if you're uh, running a small uh, fencing company or a construction company and uh, you know there's some some you know there's some things that you really enjoy about it um, make sure you post in the comments also if there's some stuff that you really find that you're struggling with why don't you post that in comments and, and always um, make sure you like and subscribe. Remember, stay strong. Cool. We'll catch you next time. Bye.